What the head cannot carry, the shoulder can push. What the head cannot carry, the shoulder can push, which is putting your shoulder to the wheel. Obiabu he can go ahabo. Adela li ba joge se ungo. O kaparage ungo anukarage boni shoulder pad. That means is your shoulder strong enough? To, to carry the weight of what you are pursuing. That is Ikenga. Now, I, 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 Ikenga, Ikenga in Igbo culture is a similitude of self-protection, personal safety. It's, it's, it is a gear, it is a gear, it is a gear of, of, of strength. In every pursuit of life, Ikenga is required in Igbo culture. Why? Before a young man set out for his mission, he need to be prepared as according to the Abrahamic covenant of old. That young man need to be prepared before he set out for his mission. Now, in the, in, the, in the journey of wealth, in the journey of success, is many, is, is many, many involvement of mystical, spiritual, and diabolic orders from different dimension of dark energy. And uh, if your shoulder is not padded, then it is likely that your head will be used. It is he who has the shoulder pad that his head cannot be used. But if you don't have the shoulder pad, then your head is to be removed. But how do I mean? Let me... Mwokoro bi hana chwego ne mwegi ikenga eka hali rishia a young man who is in the pursuit of money without a kinga, the money takes his head. That is what makes so many young youth now begin to find a way of protection outside the circle of the culture, which now led them into doing charms to survive, just like Okite and uh, what other native doctors involved in. These are a different kind of witchcraft native doctors who prepare these charms. A real cultural native doctor of Igbo origin, true native doctor of Igbo origin, has nothing to do with vulture. That is evil. They, they, in our culture, that darkness, that evil in animality, is transmitted in vulture. So whosoever that is involved in that ritual of that vulture line is that devil, a Dibia. In the circle of the Dibias, they exist on earth. That's the devil's own priest. Just like the way they are in the church too, that's the way they are in the culture. So the devil's priest is the one who uses vulture in sacrifices or in a ritual ceremonial approach. That is by the way. So, because they neglect the Ikenga, they begin to find such charms to succeed. Whereas the Ikenga is the strength of self that prepares the man with the divine wisdom and discernment of what to do to keep the hand and the feet well. It is Ikenga. Ikenga is that self controlled lifestyle that the church cannot offer. They what we go to church to pray for throughout our life is just what Ikenga controls in us. Because with your Ikenga, you cannot hurt a fly. But whomsoever that desires to hurt you must die. That is what Ikenga does. Now, Ikenga is an energy within and as well as the ordinances of self-protection propelling the heart and the mind towards a committed success. Propelling the mind and the heart towards 
a propelling determined success. Every Ikenga individual standing upon that, that is what it means by standing on the rock. I am standing on the rock is not, it's not, uh, it's not just a mere talk. It is the process of Ikenga. That is what it means standing upon the rock. It is the energy of sustenance. It is the energy of protection. It is the energy of foresight. It is the energy of commitment. It is the energy of focus. And that is in accomplishment all about to accomplish that thing for which you are created. That is what he can propels you to do. So it is a must-do ordinance in every life of any Igbo man around the world. In the life of every Igbo man around the world, you need your Ikenga. Sometimes, let me tell you something. When a young man makes money and along the line he dies young, he has no Ikenga. When a young man makes money and criminals begin to hunt him, he has no Ikenga. When a young man makes money and he any little push from the dark world, he falls and dies. They say, ah, he didn't see 70 years. He didn't see 100 years. Ask me the young man who flam, who flirt in wealth who saw one century. They cannot see one century. Go to Anambara. Look at all of them there. None of them saw a century. Because they lack a kenga. That is the truth. The whole truth. And nothing but the truth. The strength is not the money. The strength is the body to carry the money. This is where the strength lies. And that is the Ikenga of Igbo land. That is who we are. Ikenga is different from Chihuahua. Ikenga is different from Aguishi. They are all inseparably connected to each other, but they are not one thing. Neither are they one spirit. Thank you. I think that is what I want to tell you today.